So I just got home from CPR training and I don't know if anybody else experiences this, but every time I leave CPR training, I don't feel 100% ready to like perform CPR on someone who's like choking or dying. And, um, <laughs> inshallah that never like happens when I'm around because like I just literally don't feel confident in my ability to perform the task like even though I sat through this three-hour class just now I still I mean I know it's like 30 compressions to two breaths um at 100 to 120 I guess beats per minute and you're basically pumping the compressions to like the theme song she said it's now uptown funk but it used to be like staying alive like ah 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 uh, stay in a lot like you're basically pumping those compressions we did uh adult and infant uh bls and yeah we didn't do advanced life support we did uh bls and we get the healthcare one it's a three-hour class that i had to sit through and yeah i just don't feel confident but anyway so i just got a package from amazon and i think it is what i think it is um, so I have a lot of issues like with my digestive system where a lot of the times when I eat food, I feel full for a long time when a normal person would like probably digest their food in like two hours, my food kind of just sits around in my stomach and it doesn't digest. So five hours could go by, six hours could go by and my stomach still feels full. It still feels bloated. Um, and then it starts to feel upset when I try to lay down and go to sleep. And then I start feeling nauseated. I start feeling like I want to throw up. And so I have Zofran that I take occasionally, but in the last couple of weeks, it seems like I've been taking it a lot more than normal. And I let my doctor know this, like that I don't really like taking Zofran that much because Zofran kind of messes with your like regularity going to the bathroom. And so it can make you feel like kind of constipated. And so I told her like, I don't really like taking Zofran a lot because like after I take it, then I can't go to the bathroom. And so she recommended that I take a B6 vitamin. And she said that B6 is something that they prescribe to or tell pregnant women to take instead of Zofran. Um, and she said it's something that helps with nausea and morning sickness. And so she was thinking that it would help me because I don't take a B vitamin. I do take a multivitamin but and calcium, but I don't take a specific B six vitamin but taking too many vitamins sometimes makes me feel sick too and i've had to like do process of elimination on the things that i take to kind of try to figure out what's making my stomach hurt what's not making my stomach hurt and so i don't take all of my vitamins every single day like i alternate vitamins so some days i take like the multi the multivitamin i t try to take the calcium every day i take my medication every day that i'm supposed to take for depression and um, the rest of the vitamins, I kind of just alternate, like the dandelion root. Sometimes I don't take that every single day because I sometimes I think that that's making my stomach hurt. But anyway, this product that I got, I got it on Amazon. And I'm kind of worried about it because it's a powder. And it's called Soothe. And it's basically for nausea and for mood. Uh, the flavor is raspberry lemon. It does have vitamin B6. It's got 25 milligrams of vitamin B6 in it. Um, when I was looking online, it said that pregnant women usually take between 25 milligrams and 50 milligrams to help with nausea. And I saw that uh, B6 can also cause nausea if you're taking too much. So I saw like on Amazon, there was like 100 milligram tablets, 200 milligram tablets, 500 milligram tablets. It's got magnesium in it, 200 milligrams. And then it's got a Soothe Support Blend, 650 milligrams. I don't know what the Soothe Support Blend is. Um, but it also has ginger root and gut guard in it. You're supposed to mix eight ounces of it in water, stir, and dissolve. And then it says to use as needed. This is a pretty small bottle. It's pretty small. Yeah. Um, it is sealed. It sounded like it was sealed before I went over it. That like zzz, shot up my nose just now. 
Why would I smell it again, right? Almost died. <laughs> it's like a pinkish brown color. Oof. It's a tiny little scoop. Anyway. I also got some more compression stockings. And if you guys know me, I think I've mentioned this before, but I like suffer with edema in my ankles. And so I have to wear compression stockings all the time when I go to work and when I go out of town and just basically every single day of my life is compression stockings. And so um, I ordered a big six pack oh, wait. It's an eight pack. so they're all the same and I get the I'm it's kind of bad that it doesn't say on the pack it makes me think that it's not actually the right compression because I get the 20 I think it's 2030 compression the firm but it doesn't even say like firm on the pack. Stockings. I mean, they feel compressed, but they have like a brown bottom. It's, they're copper. So I'm gonna try, I'll try these on tonight and see how I feel about them. And then I also have which also doesn't say the compression on the, on the package. Like, what if they gave you the wrong one? Like, this one feels, it feels stiff too, but anyway, this one has like a little bit of gray on the bottom of the foot. I know these are still black, like, <laughs> they're, they're still black, like the ones I have on, but the ones I have on are just all black all around. Like, these have little gray at the bottom, gray at the top, so they're a little bit different, but... Yeah, see how I like them because I don't have no problem with sending nothing back to Amazon. I will definitely send this shit back. I should, I should have compression like it's supposed to compress. Amazon will be getting back to one more sock. Yeah, they don't know it yet, but they, they will definitely be getting back to one more compression sock. Anyway, oh, before I go, I wanted to show you guys my vitamins. I don't know if you want to see them, but. So I have the Women's Alive gummies. They're gummies. I don't like taking pills if I don't have to. I try to get gummies, and these are, these take some getting used to, but they're really good. They're shaped like little grapes. And then I do the Alive calcium and d3 when you're on depo birth control you have to take calcium and so they look like little gumdrops these also take some getting used to like the taste is kind of like you have to get used to the taste and then sometimes i take ginger this doesn't really help my stomach too much i got and it's 1100 milligrams and it still like doesn't really work so crazy I've got turmeric and, uh, how do you say this, curcumin, curcumin, and then of course, women's daily probiotic, it's for vaginal and digestive health, this doesn't really help my stomach, but it does help kind of sometimes keep you a little bit regular, and so this is good to take. I also take horse seed extract. I'm supposed to be taking this every day for my edema, but it wasn't really working. Um, I find that it works better when I'm like out of town or catching a flight. And so I like take this before I get on the plane and I take it while I'm out of town because the change in temperature makes my ankles swell. And then I also have this refresh it's for vaginal health. And I have two bottles of Zofran right now. Try to keep make sure i have them on deck i keep some in my car i keep some in my work bag and they go with me when i leave out of town as well and then i also have daily live root and i used to have fish oil i was looking i guess i, I ran out 
but I usually have fish oil too. And all of the vitamins that I take are always either vegan or vegetarian and they're always um, gelatin free. Like I can't have gelatin because gelatin can contain pork or pork derivative derivatives and so I can't I don't eat pork and so therefore everything has to be vegan or vegetarian. So I'll let you guys know how this makes my stomach feel. I'm just a little bit scared of the powder. But and I'm scared of the fact that I don't know what Soothe Support Blend is. Like hmm. I don't know. 